fourth graders, and welcome back. I'm Mrs. Lamondo talking to you all about mythology. Last time we were together, we explored the text of King Midas and learned that we should always be careful what we wish for. Today, we are going to see the media version of King Midas. As we listen, think about how it differs from the text version. Then we'll go over our Google form together. Once upon a time, a long time ago, in ancient Greece, there lived a king named Midas. King Midas loved three things more than anything else in the world. His little daughter, his rose garden, and gold. Nothing gave him more pleasure than seeing his little daughter picking roses in the garden. Roses she placed in a golden vase to decorate the castle. One night, while strolling through his rose garden, the king stumbled over a satyr. A satyr was a half-man, half-goat. This satyr looked half-starved and very ill. King Midas brought the satyr into his castle. He made sure the satyr was washed and fed and tucked into bed for a good night's sleep. When the satyr woke up the next morning, his fever was gone. The king and the satyr had quite a nice chat over breakfast. King Midas was surprised to hear that the satyr belonged to the powerful god Dionysus, the god of wine and truth. That very day, the king personally took the satyr home in his very best chariot. The satyr might only be a servant, but he was the servant of a god and deserved the very best treatment, which is something the king would have done anyway because the king had a very kind heart. As it turned out, the satyr was more than a servant. To Dionysus, the satyr was his teacher and good friend. Dionysus told the king he would grant any one wish the king made to thank him for taking such good care of his friend. The king did not wish anything for his daughter because he had given her everything she wanted and a whole bunch more besides. He did not wish anything for his rose garden because everyone knew he grew the finest roses in all the world. That left gold. King Midas wished that everything he touched would turn to gold. When the king arrived back at his castle, he pulled out a chair to sit down at his table. The minute he touched it, the chair turned to gold. He touched the table. He touched a vase. As soon as he touched them, they turned to gold. King Midas raced through his castle. Everything he touched turned to gold. He was so happy. He shouted to his servants to cook him a feast in celebration. So they cooked and cooked and served him a feast. That's when the trouble started. Everything looked and smelled so good that King Midas reached out and grabbed a fistful of food. As soon as he touched the food, it turned into gold. He touched other food. Whatever he touched turned to gold. He tried leaning over and ripping a piece of meat with his teeth, but that did not help. The meat turned to gold in his mouth. The king's eyes filled with fear. He knew if he could not eat, he would starve. This was terrible. The king did not know what to do. King Midas wandered sadly out to his rose garden. His little daughter was in the garden picking roses. When she saw her father, she ran into his arms for a hug and turned to gold too. King Midas hung his head and cried. As his tears fell on his precious roses, they turned to gold but the king did not care. He did not care about his roses or his gold or himself. Dionysus, hear my prayer, the king begged. Take my wish back, please.
take my wish back and save my daughter. One last time, the king's wish was granted. His daughter came back to life. The king learned a lesson that day, and he never became greedy again. All right, let's pause there. So I definitely saw some similarities and some differences between King Midas, the text, and King Midas, the media. So we are going to, instead of using a Venn diagram, we're actually going to go up and use a Google form. So let me share that with you. So today we are on mythology King Midas. So it says, after reading the text and viewing the video, answer the questions below. Of course, you're going to put in your name. In both the text and the media, King Midas meets whom in the Rose Garden? Who does he meet in the Rose Garden? His daughter, Dionysus, a satyr, a god. In both the text and the media, what is King Midas's wish? In the media, just the video, who grants King Midas his wish? His daughter, Dionysus, a satyr, a goddess. In both the text and the me media, what does King Midas touch that makes him regret his wish? His daughter, food, water, his roses. In the text, how does King Midas reverse his wish? So just in the story we read, Dionysus reverses his wish. The satyr reverses his wish. He cries and it reverses his wish. Washing in the river Pactolus reverses his wish. And lastly, what does the mythical illusion, the Midas touch mean? All right, fourth graders, that is all for today for King Midas. Next time we are together, we will explore another Greek myth. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to check in with your teacher. Until next time, see you then. Bye.